Hello everyone and welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how to connect Bayzero to N8N using your email and password. I will also show you how to find the database ID, table ID and row ID. These are all needed to make the connection work correctly. Start by logging in to your Bayzero account. This tutorial uses the cloud version at Bayzero.io, but the steps are the same for self-hosted versions. Once you are logged in, go to the workspace that contains your database. Click on the database you want to use. When the database opens, look at the address bar in your browser. You will see a URL that looks something like this. baserow.io slash database slash 226791 slash table slash 5410700 slash 9944444. From this link, we can get the IDs we need. The first number, 226791, is your database ID. The second number, 541070, is your table ID. The third number, 994444, is the view ID. You only need the first two numbers for N8N. Now, click into the table to see your data. The first column is called ID. This is the unique row ID for each record. You will need this number when updating or deleting a specific row in your automation. Next, go to your N8N account and create a new workflow. Click on the plus button to add a new node. In the search bar, type base row and select the base row node. In the node settings, look for the credentials field. Click on create new. You will now enter your base row login details. In the username field, type the email you use to log in to Bayzero. In the password field, enter your base row password. Then enter the host, which is https colon slash slash api dot .io if you're using the cloud version. If you're self-hosting, use your own domain. Give the credential a name and click save. N8N will now connect to your base row account. Go back to the node settings. In the operation field, choose what you want to do. For example, you can select Get All Rows, Create Row, or Update Row. Then enter the database ID and table ID that you got from the base row URL. If you are creating a new row, you can now add field values. These must match the column names in your base row table. If you are updating a row, you also need to enter the row ID. Now your base row is fully connected to N8N. You can use this connection to create powerful automations. For example, you can collect form data and send it directly into base row or sync data between tools. Make sure to save your workflow and turn on the active switch if you want it to run automatically. This setup gives you a flexible way to manage and automate your data using base row and N8N.